I am more convinced now than ever that something for sure is going to be breaking loose in Latin America very shortly. We are seeing too many pieces fall into place for this to be just my imagination. There's been speculation as to whether people from Colombia and Venezuela could possibly make it to Panama and do anything to cause any kind of a problem or if they would even have the desire to do so. Well, here's evidence that they do it in their own country. They were just simply protesting the hiring practices of one of the oil fields in Colombia. They wanted the people to be hired from the local group of people and not from other places. And they cut the output of the field by 80%. And this is Columbia Reports again. So we can clearly show here they have the ability to interrupt these types of activities and cause great financial pain and hardship to the businesses that run this. Now we also covered a video or two ago over here, the people that didn't have any clean water, didn't have any uh, hospitals or anything like that, and they shut down the ports on this side. We covered in another video how four governors of provinces up here in the north of Colombia have decided they are no longer under the auspices of the state of Colombia. They don't no longer answer to Medellin because of the flooding issues, the flooding issues that are directly related to climate change. The thing we just decided we don't care about, apparently. So we can see here in Colombia clearly that these people have the ability to go out, protest, cause disruptions, cause problems that cause financial hardship, and we also see that the governments down there will acquiesce, at least temporarily. Venezuela, we even have the old folks out marching in the streets attempting to do the same thing. And I'm not going to read about all of this to you. You can read it for yourself. But what we're seeing here is just a situation ready to blow up. And I have a, a guy who's watched me from the beginning, Oz Whistles, incredibly intelligent guy. Um, he did a comment on yesterday's video that kind of breaks it all down. The number $75 a barrel for oil needs to be the number for Venezuela to be able to feed itself. We're at about 47 now. We just saw Goldman Sachs dump $2.3 billion into the futures, um, into the debt of Venezuela. It bought Venezuela's debt, meaning that they thought they were going to get some fat interest payments back. So they see a bright future for Venezuela, even though this is going on. The only way that happens is if gas prices go through the roof. Well, let's see. Can we see anything... Uh, happening now you see this and you think well that's not happening all I think they're doing is they're just driving it down driving it down to the point where something's going to explode and then it is going to rocket almost overnight up to something that's untenable and then they're going to drop it back down to you know the four four fifty five dollar range and just say that's the new norm it was uh, Rahm Emanuel, I think, that said, don't let a good crisis go to waste. And I think it's ironic that Trump was his number one supporter when he ran for mayor back in 2010, I think it was. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to have a crisis, they're going to step in, and they're going to do something to fix it. And the fix is going to be, and then they're going to say, see, the pipeline, the Dakota Access, boy, I'm sure glad we did that. We're not going to get oil out of that for 10 years. But they're going to use it. And this is where it's going to come from. And I think this might have more to do with the Russians than anything else, is they want to see high oil prices too. One thing you have to remember, folks, is that when you talk about oil production, it really matters where it's coming from. It doesn't matter that it's just on the market. If it's coming from here, if we're reopening the shale fields, if we're starting to pull oil out of Texas and we're getting it from this hemisphere... It's going to be a lot more expensive to do than getting it from the Saudis because they basically have slavery over there and they don't have near the costs we have here. It's going to be 
a problem. And it wouldn't matter what the Saudis would do if there was an issue with the Panama Canal. They could bump all they want. And if it's not getting here, it's not getting through that canal. And the only place we can get it from is in Venezuela because there's some kind of a problem down there. That's going to be an issue. It's really going to be an issue. And I was uh, uh, messaging back and forth with, with Oz Whistles. It's a win-win for those people. Whether it's the terrorists that do it, whether it's the groups that do it, whether the governments back it, this type of an event does nothing but help them in the long run. It gives them their basis for their, their socialism. Um, there was a... Uh, I'm trying to see if I have it here still. The uh, video that this was associated with talks about how the um, Venezuelan Supreme Court, their equivalent of it, pretty much decided they were going to take all legislative power for themselves and pretty much have just the one branch of government. And that's what caused all of the problems with Venezuela and why there's a coup. And this is going to be a great way to kill it. All of that nonsense is if something like this happens, it'll be a matter of national security, U.S. national security. And, you know, we get a cold and the rest of the world gets pneumonia. We get pneumonia and the rest of the world's on a deathbed. That's going to be the issue. That is absolutely going to be the issue. It's going to be gas prices. It's going to be the price of oil. And it's also going to be where we're getting the oil from. Now, I also find it very odd that I saw this little blurb about this. And you would think if there was going to be one place, you wouldn't want somebody with that kind of a background. It'd be the Secret Service. But then you look at the guy who's in charge, this Randolph Alls, I guess, or Alice. I'm not sure how you would pronounce it. But the guy is the former head, COO, of the U.S. Border Patrol. What a fantastic job those people have done in maintaining security. Are you kidding? He's a former Marine pilot. I'm sure he was a fantastic pilot. Great. Wonderful. But he's, they're going to this following a whole person concept and hiring. Meaning they're just going to let people who like smoke marijuana work in the Secret Service. You don't think this guy's corrupt as the day is long? Are you kidding? This is the guy who's going to be in charge of the Secret Service. The guy who is in charge of the Border Patrol. A guy, 25 million illegals in the last 10 years. It just, 20 years, sorry, but you get the point. And I have a little bit of dealings with those people, and they are corrupt and like you, like nobody's business. And this guy wants to relax the drug policy. It's, I, I mean, I couldn't write this any better. I couldn't sit here and, you know, I made the allegation of Donald Trump wanting drugs in this country, wanting drugs just to come through his backyard so he makes money on drugs, and now he's doing everything he can to make it happen, to absolutely make it happen. We, two videos ago, we covered that illegal immigration is down, but drug smuggling is up. So we're still getting the bad ones, and we're not getting the good ones. And I don't really know how much more to do this in an eloquent way, but it is just a setup. This is absolutely a setup, and they're going to have some kind of a, I don't, I hate to use the term false flag because... It gets way overblown. But something's going to happen down there. And I swear the canal would be the perfect excuse. It would absolutely be the perfect excuse. Because somebody, nobody would say they would, you know, they would say, well, well we never saw this coming. How could this possibly be? And with all of the drugs that go in and out of there and all the corruption that goes in and out of there, they're going to be able to point the finger in a million different directions as to who might or might not be. I'm sure they're going to blame it on ISIS. You know, and they'll go over to Afghanistan and drop another Moab. But we'll know who, and we'll know why. And, you know, I always thought, well, I shouldn't say I always thought, I thought that it was very strange when I found out that Donald Trump bought a $90 million hotel property in downtown Medellin, Colombia, right as he announced his candidacy to run for president in 2015. Now, why would this man dump all this money down there in investment if he didn't think he was going to get back? I think we know now why. There's going to be a huge resurgence in that part of the country. 
They're on the brink of destruction now, but there's going to be a crisis, and they're going to swoop in, and they're going to have a fix for it, and it's going to uh, make all the people who want to get away from Saudi oil happy, and the people who want to get away from this situation with Israel, and make them happy. We're going to get involved in there deep up to our elbows, and it's just going to go right in with what Donald Trump has wanted to do to reestablish the drug corridor going through Florida instead of going through Texas and push out the Mexicans. It's uh, just as clear as day. So, anyway, I really do appreciate everybody's comments and uh, staying with the channel and supporting, you know, the whole thing with uh, the YouTube algorithm, and I don't think it's lost in anybody. There aren't, there aren't nearly as many views on uh, the channel as there used to be, but I don't really care. I just want there to be the truth out there, and I think it'll be an interesting thing if something does happen and people can go back and see in the last two or three weeks that this was all predicted. But anyway, just thanks, folks. I really appreciate it, and uh, hang with me here. Um, Oz Whistles, fantastic analysis of stuff. Uh, knows a whole lot more about this than I do. Um, got some great information. He is a, a fantastic source. You can also go to him as well. I just wish I saw some bigger names covering this even a little bit. Apparently there's an article on Fox that about Maduro and this referendum, you know, wanting to create this huge body as opposed to just ruling himself. It's the 3,000 dictators or 3,000 tyrants uh, one mile away versus one tyrant 3,000 miles away. It's same thing. So anyway, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. I'm sorry the video wasn't more eloquent, but it's just all falling into place. It's perfect. And I'm going to say probably sometime between July 4th and Labor Day in that range, because that'll be just when people are needing the gas the most. So anyway, thank you so much. See you next time.